In the 80s and 90s, Southeast Louisiana was a major hub for commercial offshore divers, and with that came the medical expertise for oxygen treatments for their decompression illness. Yeah, that medical technology soon filtered into hospitals and trauma centers to treat patients, and now New Orleans is about to be on the forefront of this medical field again. Meg Ferris shows us why. Since the 1990s, Medical Watch has been following the studies and treatments by local doctors using hyperbaric oxygen chambers. They've treated preemies born with deficits, children who nearly drown, troops who suffered from traumatic brain injury on the battlefield, football concussions, strokes, and long COVID patients. And while there are doctors who don't believe the technology has been proven in scientific studies and medical schools that are not teaching the treatment, there are special who say the emerging science shows pressurized oxygen chambers rev up healing, helping to regenerate damaged tissues at a cellular level. So a local doctor who is an expert in hyperbaric medicine has teamed up with an attorney who has seen hyperbarics save his clients came up with an idea. Why waste valuable time bringing the patient to the hyperbaric chamber when they could bring the chamber to the patient. If the brain is injured either by non-supply of blood or by trauma, it, it lessens the inflammation and it gets oxygen into each cell uh, in order to power recovery. Almost any tissue loss, whether it's the brain or whether it's muscle or skin that's been damaged. I've seen uh, some of the miracles that Dr. Van Meter and his people have done bringing people literally, not figuratively, literally back to life. 200% to 300% will pass. LSU Health Section Head of Emergency Medicine, Dr. Keith Van Meter, has teamed up with attorney Bobby DeLise and founded Hypervan. It will be the first ambulance with a hyperbaric oxygen chamber on board in the world. Getting to the scene fast can change the outcome. So what we at Hypervan want to do is we want to close that window. So it's not a golden hour, it could be a golden five minutes when the ambulance arrives. It will be built in New Orleans by a contracted engineering team. Hypervan will train the paramedics. The van will be able to operate as a regular ambulance or mobile hyperbaric chamber. In fact, they plan to donate the Hypervan to the New Orleans Health Department. By having New Orleans be at the forefront of providing hyperbaric oxygen therapy in an emergent setting because unfortunately there are a lot of gunshot wounds in New Orleans. It's expected to roll out within a year. Meg Farris, WWL, Louisiana. They're planning to build three hyper vans to start. One will take calls, one will train paramedics, and one will be crash tested.